delivered Indian Hindi cinema's biggest hit ever this year. So, Shraddha, you have brought your little girl with you. First of all, good evening, everyone. Uh, I have to say that growing up in a filmy household, screen has been a part of uh, those moments when I would run to my hall and look for the new issue. Uh, my brother and I would sit and we would flip through uh, the magazine and we would just be like, Aaj kaun se film star ki photo aai hai? Aaj kya khabar aai hai? And uh, papa ki photo hai kya? So, uh, you know, it's really something, it's very special to see myself on its relaunch cover. Uh, so I want to say thank you so much. Uh, it's really very personal because uh, that little girl in the living room is now up on the cover. So it feels, it feels uh, amazing. It feels awesome. And I have to say that my parents are really, really proud. So thank Lovely. you so much for having me on the relaunch cover of this iconic magazine. Thank you so much. And of course, Miri Choti to Harvak Miri Pas Hetiye, Miri Dodo Pockets, it's in one of them. <laughs> so I'm Tayar, I'm prepared. Whenever I need it, I'll just bring it out. Let's make the magic happen. <laughs> So tell me, 600 crores and countings, 3-2 has been, has been this massive, massive success. So, according to you, you know, who or what is the reason for this, you know, that critical thing that has, um, that has really worked with the audience, what is that, who is that according to you? You know, I'll be very honest, I truly believe that when 3-1 happened, it happened about six years ago. Uh, Madoc was just up and coming as a, a production house as well. Uh, all the actors in the film, we were at very different parts, uh, uh, stages in our careers. Uh, we were also growing in our own ways. And my personal reaction to when I heard the first part was I felt like I hadn't heard a film like that. Uh, it was based on a true legend, uh, an urban legend. And I was literally falling off the sofa when I heard it and I felt, I'm so glad that they came to me for this film, which is pure entertainment and I'm genuinely laughing at uh, the dialogues, the scenes, I'm enjoying myself. My character is this mysterious girl who comes and goes and you're, con you're constantly wondering about her presence. So I have to say that the kind of love that the first part itself got, um, it was immense. It was really, really uh, huge, the kind of accolades that the film got. So I have to say that it all began there. And um, then hats off to uh, uh, our producer, our writers, my uh, director, for them to really crack a sequel because it's important to really not make a sequel for the, for the sake of it. You really have to have some substance if you're going to bring people to the theatres and garner genuine appreciation. So, um, I feel... Hello, hello. Hello. I feel like, um, I feel like the premise of staying true to how a sequel should be made. So, I feel it all started with 3-1 and they did a super job by cracking uh, uh, the story of 3-2, uh, getting all the entertainment factors into the film. We have brilliant actors in the film. Uh, we have some really entertaining dialogue. So I truly, truly believe it has been a fabulous team effort and uh, pure cinematic joy and really proud to be a part of this film. And the audience decides, right? They, they know that they want to leave their homes for entertainment and we're really happy that we could do that for them. And it seems we are ready for three, threes, three, four, and so on and so. So uh, my director Amar sir, he said ki kahani mil gayi hai three three ki. So I got very excited, and uh, I mean, kuch to amazing he he must have they all must have thought. So I can't wait to know what that's what it's about. But it is a powerful statement, even in 2024, to have a film called Three. Uh, till a few years back. Uh, Hindi filmmakers will give these very powerful macho names to their cinema. And today, Stree is the highest earning Hindi film ever. So uh, in a world of Singhams, Jawans, Pathans, Tigers, what do you think this success signifies, especially when it comes to the way audience is looking at content? 
I think it signifies a very, very simple thing. A good film always works. And uh, I feel like the audiences only care about that now. And uh, I think that should motivate all of us to pull our socks up and not take anything for granted and really, really uh, make some really good films and stay true to the craft. I think that's what it means. But what about its feminist narrative? You think that also connected? Because one of my favorite scenes in the film has you uh, beating up uh, the demon while the men cover behind you. It's such a powerful uh, statement, right? Yeah, in that moment, I had a lot of fun. कि एक लड़की आ रही है अपनी चोटी निकाल के धुलाई कर रही है एंड आई फील लाइक आई मीन जस्ट इमेजिन द इमेजिनेशन ऑफ द राइटर्स राइट इट्स फैब्यूलस टू गिव अ वुमेन हर स्ट्रेंथ इन हर चोटी आई हैड अ ग्रेट टाइम दोज आर माय फेवरेट बिट्स टू प्ले टू इन एक्ट आई जस्ट थॉट इट वॉज जीनियस एंड द फैक्ट दैट इट मेक्स सेंस You know, <laughs> so मुझे बहुत मजा आया और मैं ना मतलब घर पे भी ऐसे चोटी लेके घूम रही थी और सबको बता रही थी कि मतलब सावधान रहना चोटी है मेरे पास इट इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ फन बट कैन सक्सेस ऑल्सो बी आइसोलेटिंग यू हैव बिन थ्रू द इंटायर गैमिट यू हैड अ रॉकी स्टार्ट टू योर करियर एंड देन दीज पॉप कल्चर मोमेंट्स विद आशिकी टू विद हैदर विद छिछोरे थ्री सो टेल मी वॉट इज lonelier is it success or is it failure and how do say your contemporaries react to both what sort of response do you get from bollywood ecosystem you know i'll be very honest i still live with my parents with my brother uh my dogs and uh, for me uh, it's it's a blast my entire journey has been a great time in the film industry i feel like i've been very very blessed and um, my entire family uh, my uh, as i said i live with my parents i've i've they have seen me go through the ups and downs but to uh, answer your question i really do believe that uh, failure is supremely essential uh, towards success and failure is a very big teacher and it is a part of life it's absolutely a part of life and um, i'm very very blessed to have a fabulous support system and every day uh, i'm super grateful for where i am because i know how many people want to live the celluloid dream and how many people my dad he has come from a non filmy family uh, his stories are so incredible of coming from delhi my uh, dada ji had a, a textile store and phir unhone phir mere dad ko bola ki uh, you know you work in delhi and you do whatever you want in delhi and my dad had joined a travel agency but my dad wanted to act and uh, he of course hopped on to a train and he came to bombay and you know those stories are those stories that really make me want to keep my head down because my dad really made it from uh, scratch and made it on his own so i have had a really really uh, fabulous support system at home so through and through through the ups and downs i've been very very blessed i don't know if this answers your question <laughs> but you were asking is it lonelier lonelier when you're successful or is it lonelier when you're going through failures i feel like if you have your closest ones with you you're you're okay through the entire journey but i think that you as this uh, girl who has her loved ones around but we don't see you at parties at bollywood even so much but um, so the larger ecosystem you have your people and you stick with them is that what you're saying <laughs> you know uh, i recently got a puppy okay and uh, now all the all the more that i feel like yaar there is no place like home very honestly uh, there is no place like and, and it's nice also to just jaldi kha ke sona puppy ke sath thoda sa time wise spend karna par aisa nahi ki main parties mein nahi jati i don't know why it's become like oh she doesn't go anywhere is that's not true that is not true at all yes i am more of someone who loves to be at home as much as possible um uh, and uh, you know be with uh, my family and uh, my close friends etc but uh, 
या ऐसा नहीं है मतलब मैं जाती भी हूँ एंड एंड दिस ब्रिंग्स मी टू इफ आई हैव टू एड इट इट डिपेंड्स कि मतलब ऐसे होता है ना कि चलो आज मूड है चलो जाते हैं एंड नहीं है तो घर पे रहते हैं इट्स लाइक दैट you follow your own uh, drum beat and that's the way to also you have another family your 93.6 million followers on instagram what a massive massive success just in today's day and age how difficult it is to stay relevant because the trends change faster than anything on instagram also what kind of investment does it demand of you because you're a full time actor who also has this uh, you know huge following for which you have to remain relevant how do you balance both so um I do a lot of masti on Instagram. I'll be honest, मुझे बहुत ज़्यादा मज़ा आता है और I have to tell you कि बहुत entertaining लोग मिलते हैं आपको Instagram पर जो मैं अपने comments में मिलती हूँ after I put a post or something and I will sit and I will read the comments and I have to tell you it is so entertaining and it is so much fun and there is so much creativity in some people's comments that automatically I feel like uh, retorting, replying back. and um, very honestly i handle my own social media and i have a lot of fun with it and the entire credit goes to everybody who shows up on my comments and enjoys and does masti with me so uh, i have to give it to them the credit goes entirely to them i follow you on instagram and you are a lot of fun you <laughs> are responding to comments through <laughs> it's very uh, how do you call it cheesy also na so <laughs> fun it's all you i think relatability is what works for you uh at this stage of your career tell me what will shraddha kapoor not do when it comes to films or characters everybody has uh, you know uh their reservations for instance some people some actors will not do certain kind of intimacy scenes others look at messaging but what is shraddha's no go area i feel like very honestly i believe that my best is yet to come and um, i definitely want to feel when i am going to be a part of a film that it is going to be something exciting for me as an actor uh, it is going to be something exciting for me uh, to be a part of a particular story that is really riveting that may have a message which is subliminally uh, you know uh, passed on to the audiences and um, so i am in that headspace right now which is also why you know there was a time where i was doing a lot of films back to back and now it's become the opposite it's like तीन साल में एक रिलीज हो रही है या एक यू नो दैट हैज हैपन विद तू झूठी मैम अकार एंड बागी थ्री एंड इट्स फाइन लाइक आई फाउंड माई कम्फर्ट इन दैट नाउ बिकॉज आई फील लाइक आई वॉन्ट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ फिल्म वेयर आई रियली फील फुलफिल्ड एज एन एक्टर एंड आई कैन पुश माई सेल्फ एज एन एक्टर इज वेल एंड डेफिनेटली डू समथिंग डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वॉट आईव डन बिफोर which i think you always do because if you look at if we look at your filmography this is one thing that always stands out but i'm not uh, in that uh, you know ki there has to be a lineup of films my next film hasn't even been announced and uh, I, and it's okay till till i don't feel like you know because it takes a lot for you for anybody to be a part of a film it takes months it takes a lot of work and a lot of prep so till i feel that from the bottom of my heart yeah well i have an a plan for you i want to know if uh, how would shraddha kapoor behave if she was to deal with situations your characters faced in your films okay so okay for ashiki if you have a clingy bro- clingy boyfriend who's threatened by your success how will you react first of all i i don't think uh, in ashiki that was rahul jaikar's character uh he was uh, he had a, a, an alcohol problem I, he wasn't threatened by my character's success unfortunately the demon of alcoholism uh, overtook him but if i uh, had a character like that run for your life run in the other direction <laughs> where is the exit <laughs> bhago bhago right <laughs> uh chichore if you are an out uh, you are there you are an outsider in what is essentially a boys club no but i was a part of the gang 
So what would I do, you're saying? So if you are one of essentially a boys club, what do you do? Enjoy the attention? <laughs> but uh, no, I wouldn't be an outsider. I would be like, are buddies. I'm one of the because, guys. Because also in school, I have been like that. I've also been one of the boys. So I can relate to that. Okay. Half girlfriend. Do you have commitment? You have commitment issues in the film. But what about real life, Shraddha? Do I have in real life? You know, I am that full fairy tale romance chahiye in life kind of a person. So uh, no half girlfriend business for me in real life. Tu jhuti mein makkar. A girl who wants a healthy distance from her family, but is in love with a boy who wants her to live with in an arranged uh, in a joint family setup. You know when you this that's tricky. That is tricky because uh, I mean I can't answer this on the spot. But also, see, I live with my family. I love living with my family. It's that energy of uh, having your family members around and. I mean, there's constantly a party at home. So, till I'm not in that situation, this one I nahi pata. But we have a, I have to share one uh, uh, thing, anecdote. We have this system in my home where whenever, whenever anybody wants space from each other, we have made D&D &D signs. D&D, &D, <laughs> we have written on a paper pe, aur wo hum kamre ke bahar latka dete. So, the rules of this D&D &D is ki only if it is an emergency can you bang on the door really, really loudly or scream and shout. And, or uh, if it's not, then just wait till that sign is off. <laughs> so, we, as we are at the screen launch and you already spoke very nicely about, you must also be reading about your father, your family. Uh, was it strange sometimes to, uh, you know, uh, see what this, how this is happening or were you always comfortable with the, with the attention? Hmm. So, uh, growing up, everyone in school would be like, uh, Shakti Kapoor ki beti hai, pata hai? Pata hai, bade villain hai wo, <laughs> sambhal ke rehna. And I used to in fact walk with a chip on my shoulder ki, you don't know who my brother is. <laughs> because my brother was three years older and uh, he had a lot of tushan in school. So I used to have that, uh, you know, ki nobody can mess with me, bhaiya hai, or wo, <laughs> from the top floor I will, you know, complain and all of that. So, uh, of course, um, growing up in a film family with my masi, uh, my uh, masi is my grandfather being, you know, he, uh, I have uh, musicians in the family also. So it's been a very, um, very creative environment that we have, I've been brought up in as well. And of course, um, seeing my father and my masi, uh, them going to their shoots has, so it has been an integral part of my life. And, um, uh, but aisa nahi tha ki, you know, it, because I have always had friends also who've not been a part of the industry. Uh, and I'm still, they are my best friends today also. It never felt like somehow na ki aisa feeling nahi hoa ki yaar filmy family se hu ya aise. No, it didn't feel like that very much. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.